everyone, what up? Welcome back to Top Tier Arcade. My name is Steve, and we're finally back in my parents' garage. And it's springtime because right now I'm looking outside, it's encouraging. The weather's amazing, and I'm ready to do this. It's uh, 22 Celsius for the Americans at 72 Fahrenheit. Um, it's dry, there's no humidity, and uh, let's get right to it. So, in this Top Tier Tech video, it's going to be the Neo Geo Part 1 Restore. Uh, hopefully, everything goes smoother. I'm going to take a lot of the skills I learned from doing my Street Fighter 3 Third Strike and overall learning, researching about the Neo Geo because I don't want to screw anything up. So here it is, the sixth slot right here. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to unearth it pretty much from the winterized mode. I'm going to uh, take it out, I'm going to put it right in the middle, get the extension cord, fire it up, and we're actually going to do a, um, a walk around because I don't know where I'm going to really start. Am I going to clean it first and then start from there? Am I going to work on the electronics first? I don't know. I have my tools ready. I'm a lot more prepared than before. So uh, let me pull it out and let's see. Uh, let's inspect the game and see where we're going to start. Alrighty. So I've just moved the Neo Geo. Whew, this thing's heavy. Oh, just moved the Neo Geo six slot. Now I know that the uh, the lighting is like that, but I'm doing it on purpose because what I want to do is a quick walk around. I want the light. So this is the back. Obviously very dirty. Wow, what a big machine. But you know, it looks pretty good. Um, what I want to do first is, again, let's do a walk around. So, I mean, cosmetically, it's not that bad. I mean, it's dirty, which is fine. That's going to be an easy clean. There's an easy access to the power supply, which we do have to address because when I first picked it up, me and Sasha were hearing it and the fan was kind of dying. So we may have to, re I'm pretty sure we're going to replace that and I want to. Um, going around this side, yeah, there's... Uh, some peeling on the vinyl or whatever that is. Um, the bottoms look good, a little red. I don't know if that's paint. I don't know if that's dirt. This is again, again the most uh, I guess noticeable of the um, the wear. But it's not. Uh, there's like a little little gouge here. But I mean, this is just flat. And that we're gonna look at painting that. But again, nothing crazy so far. Um, on this, it looks good. This thing's annoying me. This L3 or. Um, greater than three or is it less than three? Oh my god, I can't remember the math either way So I'm gonna see if I can remove that I've been looking online of uh, like home remedies how to remove sharpies off um, Cabinets my wife and I or my wife told me as well because she deals with kids and she gets pain everywhere And they have a lot of remedies so side looks to be pretty good on then the the three um, Front looks honestly clean like it's the cl very very clean um that's pretty much perfect. Again, just a little dirt. I'll wait for this to zoom in. There we go. Uh, we're going to have to address that lock bar. There's no lock on it, but that's stuck. Like, I can't take that off. Like, it's, I guess it was jammed in, so I have to remove that. Um, Sasha does not have the keys for these, so we're going to have to be drilling them out. Now, the reason I'm laughing, if you guys don't know, oh, let me, and then there's the memory card. Memory card slot and headphone slot. Headphone works. I don't know. I haven't tried the memory card yet, <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm laughing, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just getting over a cold, um, why I'm laughing is, if you guys ever see my Street Fighter 3 Restore, I think it's part 2, and I start to drill out the lock, I, I call bullshit on it, because I can't do it, turns out the drill I have is just not strong enough, so, um, my uncle actually told me that he brought a drill from his place, and for me to check, so I'm going to run downstairs in a, modem in, in a moment, and see if, he does have the drill, and he says it's a good one, so I really hope so, because we can get that out once and for all. The um, This is notable wear, obviously, so there, there's uh, we're going to have to address that. Now, you guys have to keep in mind as well that because this is not the final resting place for the Neo Geo, what I mean by that is it's going to be housed in my parents' garage until I get a place or some other storage, which makes no sense because it's free here. Um, I don't necessarily want to do the full, full, full restore because, again, I'm going to have to, like, it could be years, it could be months, and I'm going to have to lug it around anyways. So I might kind of just do it, make it working, you know, just fix everything as much as I can. And then, you know, if we ever or when I ever get a house and, you know, I look at this, maybe I'll do it there. So then it's, you know, perfect once it goes to the basement. So either way, um, this is... I've just noticed this just now. It's a little up, like it's been raised. Maybe these are too tight, maybe because the winter, I don't know. Um, looks to be in really good shape. The buttons, they're a little sticky. You can tell with the dirt. I mean, look this one. 
you know, or this one actually stays in. So this will maybe just clean up uh, the glass itself. So I'm going to remove the 25 cents and then we'll actually um, like take the monitor out. And then of course the, uh, the EL panels, which were very faint. Now the good thing is they were working but they were very faint. Now I've been getting some advice, people online have been so far really nice, and telling me that I thought, Sasha's like, I think it's the power supply, and other people like it can't because there's another board that controls it, and again, we'll get the keys and we'll open that. So that's the, uh, that's the front of it. So it actually looks pretty good, and then on this side, this side's actually really nice. Um, very minor, very, very, like I don't even wanna touch that side. And then here, maybe a little scuff, I guess this is the quote, like, quote worst of it. There, there is a little gouge out of it, but most of it is the, um, the, um, God damn it, the um, T molding. So, what are we gonna do first? I guess what we'll do is that's just a quick overview. I mean, it actually looks really good already. I think what I'm gonna do first, just because it's easy, and just to kind of get me in the groove here and get me moving, is I think I'm gonna just honestly clean. Just get like a rag, clean the machine, see what comes off, see what remains. Uh, give it a thorough cleaning on the side. And then once that happens, we'll start to open it. We'll open it up together. We'll actually fire it up. I haven't tested it yet. I have um, a game we can test uh, that I had before. So I have Bust the Move or Puzzle Bobble. So um, I'm going to try it with that and then make sure everything's working. And then we'll take it from there. So anyways, let's. Uh, that was a quick overview of where we're at. I think, yeah, you know what? Let's uh, Let's start there. Let's keep it easy for now. Let's get me kind of motivated. That's how I usually work. You know, slow by slow, I, once I see the, um, the encouragement or once I see the results, I start to get really into it. And uh, so I'm going to get a rag. We'll clean this and uh, we'll take it from there. So I just got a bucket with um, um, like just soap, like a grease fighter <clears throat> just soap, which works usually very well. I have like a, one that's a little stronger in abrasiveness as far as the pad and then like a sponge. So I'm gonna wipe that out some rags as well. Now, what I'll do is I'm gonna to start to clean it just to show you how it's starting. Hopefully it's working. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of uh, just do a quick montage of me cleaning it just to see how I've been doing it and then I'll cut away. Okay, so this is what it looks like after that clean. So after that montage of cleaning. So it looks pretty good. Still um, a little scuff, but uh, nothing too bad. The top looks a lot better. But with that, the, um, you know, and now it's just cleaned up. I, you know, a lot, not too much dirt came off it. Again, it wasn't too dirty to begin with. And the one thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try this. Now, I don't know how what reception I'm gonna get when I do this, but do you see this, um, you see this mark here? It looks like a permanent marker, like a Sharpie. Um, my wife told me that there's home remedies that she uses, especially because she works with kids, so they get a lot of things on the wall. And she said um, they try even toothpaste, if I don't have like either WD-40 or alcohol, which I don't. They said use just like white toothpaste, and it's online, and I, you know, check validity, and they said it works. So I'm gonna try this. I'm going to just get a Q-tip here, and I'm going to just put it on and see if uh, that works. So that's going to stay on for five minutes. And then what I'll do on, and then I'm going to open, uh, I'm going to try to open the coin doors because Sha Sasha does have the keys for the uh, slick, the six slot. So I'm going to open that, maybe wipe it down, 
and see uh, what's in there. So let me just apply this. I'll show you what it looks like, and then I'll set up the uh, tripod and open open the top here. All right, so that's what it looks like. So I'm going to wait five minutes. That's just white toothpaste. <laughs> Hopefully it does something. If not, we'll leave it. So I'll leave that on. And then next, uh, let's try to open this. So I remember these being... Ah, one sec here. I remember these, these being very... To open so I'll, um, what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna maybe bang this in just a little bit so here are the keys uh, let's see That's one All right, let's open this. So, let's pocket this. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. I'm doing this one-handed here. Hopefully that doesn't fall forward. Let's hit the garage there. So that's it, Ben. We're gonna be a little careful on that. So, I've noticed uh, there's a crack. You have to be careful with that plastic right there. It's okay. I mean, as long as it doesn't break. So I'm gonna. I want. I do want to clean that. I'll just. I won't take it off. I'll just Windex it. I won't take the actual pen. Maybe not now. Maybe another time. But I won't. Uh, looks to be pretty clean. Other than that, uh, this is good. Warning. Oh, it's still there. You know what? I do have glue. Uh, maybe I'll just glue this down in a sec. I'll do it off camera. I'll literally just get glue and glue that. Uh, EL panels again they work but they're very dim now again is it a power supply issue Sasha, Sasha thought other people are saying no <clears throat> it's the actual they're just it's just time you know they just run out so there's that um, I'm gonna clean these I'll just maybe lift this and I'll set the uh, tripod just to show you now what I do want to do though is um, let's why don't we clean that first let's see if the if this comes off and then so we'll do that and then we'll clean up here we'll just windex that get that all as much as we can I'm gonna glue that so that's the next step and then moving forward we'll either just open this um, maybe what we'll do is just open this take the glass out clean the glass and the bezel and then later on what we can do is um, take this lock off here and then drill that out and then again, my uncle said to go downstairs and see if we if I have a better drill. And then once we do that, I think uh, the fun you know the most fun part for me is opening uh, the back. So and then we'll open that, see what we got. I know there was some literature back here. There was stuff in the bottom. It's never been opened in again 20 years. So that should be exciting. Then we'll fire it up and see what we got and uh, see if we can even play a game or two. All right. So let's set you up. Um, um, I'm going to start to clean this real quick, and then from there we'll just see if the toothpaste worked. Alright. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just again spray um, Windex all up here and see uh, how well it cleans off. You know what maybe I'll do? Instead of spraying it, I'll just put it here. Yeah. I'm going to put it on this instead so that it doesn't go everywhere. It's like gym rules. You don't spray the machine, you spray the rag. Anyway. Alright, that's good. I see, uh, I see it coming off. That's good. Oh yeah, look at that. A lot of dirt. That's good. Oh yeah, look at that. So that's definitely working. So that's so far so good. So let's continue this. Oh my god, it's stuck on. I can literally, it's caked on. 
like the dirt, whether it's smoke, nicotine, love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's coming up great. Look at that. I can actually feel it coming off. Like it's, it's, there's give to it. Wow, look at that. It's literally just caked on. That. That's sweet. Pick those up later. Well, this is uh, satisfying. Definitely. That, shoot, you know what? The inside of this is dirtier than the outside of the cab. Look at that. I can actually feel it coming off. Outside. It's outstanding. Okay. Yeah, I can really tell. I mean, from the sun coming, sun coming in, looks way better. Let's go up here. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Look at that. That's really coming off. Careful here. Crazy that there's more dirt in here than outside. Well, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, the dirt really can't go anywhere, so. Good. Looks really good. All right. Let's down here. Yeah. Not too big of a deal, but. I'm telling you, man, once the weather gets good, everyone wants to just do stuff. I don't blame them. So I just wiped the inside, that a little rust. This is good. Let me come down and uh, do that. Can you guys see it? Uh, I mean, it's hard to tell. You can't see from outside, but really, really, you can tell that uh, that made a big difference. I mean, look at all that crap on the floor. You know what, let me actually, uh, I'm going to take a little Windex and I'm going to take off the uh, toothpaste. Let's see, and then I'll bring the camera, give me one sec here. It didn't, it didn't do anything. Cheap shit toothpaste. So home remedy one did not work. Let me just clean it, I'll show you. Well maybe it did a little. Make sure that's all off because now it smells like minty toothpaste.
take you. Yeah, I don't think it did anything. May have may have made it a little lighter. I don't know, what do you guys think? Did I make it lighter? I don't know, maybe. Maybe made it lighter. We'll revisit that. Um, maybe I'll get some rubbing alcohol or my wife said even hairspray. I won't overdo it because I don't want to then now get this part lighter. I don't know if that's a little, maybe even 10, 20% lighter. Maybe. You know, if we do that a couple times and it's very minimal, I'll leave it. We'll revisit that. We'll come back. So it wasn't as well as I thought. Definitely not as good as this. Uh, let me set you back up because now I'm going to do the outside. Let me set you up here. That's good. I'm going to just do the outside. I know the glare is a little weird, but I'd rather just see me uh, doing this side. And I usually get to put it on here so it doesn't run everywhere. Let's start here. Not too much dirt. Like I said, the outside is actually really good. Let's do it here. Again, not too dirty. Weird, 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 weird. Outside's clean. Okay. So, looks to be pretty good. It looks to be pretty good. Let's bring that back up. Be careful. So, what I'm going to do now is, uh, See okay? Yeah, it's okay, I guess. What I'm going to do now is uh, get some glue. You can just get some glue in the end of a Q-tip. Swear to God, as soon as they do my arcade stuff, they come outside. I think it's they do it on purpose. No one was out. No one was out when I was just came out. Lightly some glue on here. It's good. It's nice and even. We get on the other side. Ugh. Perfect, that's good. 
Like that. Let the, it's warm enough and it's gonna just dry. We'll just move forward. So that one, that one needs me. Good. Little touch-ups. I mean, to me, those little touch-ups make it work. It makes it look that much better. Okay, so let's get organized. Okay. So now... <clears throat> So that's pretty clean. I don't know if the camera can even catch it. I mean, if you can see this part, that was all dirt right where my end of my finger is. So now that's done. So what we're gonna do now, this is the first time I'm playing with it. So let's be safe. So this looks okay. That's good. Uh, okay, this is, com this is the cover for the, oh, I see. Is this where the, Slide the paper. Is it backwards? I think it's backwards. I think they had it on backwards, because why would you slip it in the front? Huh, well, that was backwards, but oh well. Um, I guess let's just put this down and... Let's do that. Actually, before I clean, before I clean that part, why don't we clean this? Now, I don't want to screw around this, and I don't want to put any... <clears throat> Maybe I won't put any Windex in case it's too abrasive. Maybe I'll just put um, water, and I'll lightly... Maybe I'll lightly just do this. I'm gonna, so I'm going to just put water. I'm not going to put... Uh, I'm not going to put Windex in case. went to get water from that driver. so let's nicely the good thing is I could see dirt on these I'm just wiping it's just crud whatever that is make sure so there is some dirt Definitely. I hope I'm doing this right I don't want to screw anything up <clears throat> especially if they're working and they just don't know so definitely dirt's coming off them which is good it's good can't be bad I guess not too much, but let's just quickly dry these. Oh, definitely dirt coming on. Oh yeah, I can actually see it. Can you guys see that? Look. Actually peeling off like it did up there. It's good enough. I mean, definitely something's coming off. I just put some in my spit. I know that you're gonna be like, no, Steve. Just want to see if it comes off. Really, it's the same thing. See, and they've been soldered in. I'm wondering if it just needs new solder. They're a lot cleaner than when I just did them, which is surprising. Can this come out? Ah, it's attached to that. Um, I'm not going to go there yet, just because I'm not sure. Maybe I'll leave it as it is and I'll, we'll, we'll open the back first. But I've never, I guess there's two screws here and two here. But I won't get there yet. I won't get there yet. So why don't we just pause in a sec. Um, I've cleaned them off. They look a lot better. I mean, definitely there's some dirt came off. Let's see if they maybe work and uh, take it from there. Now when I'm here, let me actually put you down and see. 
What else are we going to be doing here? Steve, cut that part. Make it uh, start from here. All right, so I've just put you in this closer to the action here. Still, what we're going to be doing is cleaning the um, this part. But again, it was in backwards, so maybe someone tried to change it. It was put in. Maybe Sasha, when they tried to do it, I don't know. So, I'm going to just... Uh, you know what, maybe I'll just, I'll just Windex it like this. This I'm going to do like this. I don't mind if it gets here because I know I'm going to be cleaning the control panel and the glass anyway. So let's do that quick. Look at that. Look at that. Jesus. It's probably, it looks like tobacco or tar or just dust from all these years. Not a bad thing. That's how it was. And I'm a sm I'm a cigar smoker myself, so totally cool. Doesn't matter to me. But wow, how much it uh, how much it affects it though, huh? <clears throat> and then what we'll do is uh, turn the sides here. Ah, on the flat surface. You know, I had a table in here, but my mom just put it out for spring. So I'm a little unprepared with that. But again, we'll just do it by hand. And then I'll kind of maybe off camera just, uh, just go and wipe it down. So this is the outs the inside. So this is where the mini marquees sit. Good amount of dirt. Not even even to begin with, so I guess what the rest is going to It's kind of awkward. I'm going to leave this on the side for now, just to load, so they uh, come down. So, anyways, you get you get the point. I'm going to uh, touch it up off camera. It looks pretty good, though, honestly. Alright, so here's pretty much the coin door, uh, the keys I have here, that's for the, that's for up there, that's for the, uh, the mini, the mini marquees, I'm going to put them here, um, in a moment what I'm going to do is put that, I, off camera I actually, uh, I cleaned it a little better, I'm going to put it back, oh you know what I've done, I look back at the footage, before I started recording this portion, and I was just checking to see if the toothpaste did anything, and I think it did. So I reapplied another couple, like another layer, and I'm gonna let it wait uh, maybe now 10 minutes instead of maybe five. So I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let that uh, pretty much get in there, and hopefully it works better. If not, again, I'm gonna leave it. So a few things. One, you can tell this. So this lock doesn't do anything. I'm going to get a screwdriver, or not a screwdriver, a wrench. So I'm going to do, a, I'm going to use this wrench here, just take this off because it's, uh, I'm going to replace it with a lock. So this 
so far that's coming off well. Again, this time compared to last time, I have a lot more tools. Um, my uncle, yeah, just said here, you know, use these. I never used them. So I've been using a lot more tools and it's more strategically better. So, so far so good. And then what we'll do really quick, once we address this, is uh, put back the plastic on the mini marquees, remove the um, the toothpaste, and then from there, I think we're gonna dr attempt to drill out this hole. My uncle said he had a really good uh, drill compared to my. My 12 volt, which apparently sucks, and it does. Okay, good. So easy peasy. Chipped off a little paint. Doesn't matter. The the new coin lock's gonna cover it, so that looks good. So that went very easy. That's good. Okay, this goes to trash. So there's the two set of keys. Um, when I first got the game, the, the coin lights are out. I took one from my Double Dragon and it works, which is great. So all the wiring to me works. The um, I don't think I... Tr did I try quarters? I have. I have an American and Canadian core. I'm going to check that out. Um, the wiring looks okay. Inside the counter reads uh, 84,720. And, you know, service credits test mode. Now, Sasha did tell me that the main on and off, the switch, he, um, it's been disconnected. I don't know if he did it or the operator did it. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll see if we can reconnect it. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see what's going on in the back momentarily. But for right now, it looks, you know, actually pretty good. Honestly, it looks very clean. I mean, maybe I'll wipe this. You know what? I'll do it right now. Let me just wipe this down while I have this open. Again, it's not going to be a full, full restore because it's not in the final space. And not to mention, it doesn't, I don't think it needs that much. Hopefully we get lucky with the six slot. You know what, let me clean this uh, headphone jacket a little better here. Did nothing. All right. So let me, um, yeah, I, I, I really hope, I don't think it's going to be that big of a restore. I really don't. I'm not converting anything. Well, it's dirty. I'm not converting anything. Um, it's pretty much straightforward as long as the power supply I do want to change because I know that's you know wonky or it doesn't work well I agree with Sasha that's one of the big things uh, um, so that's one thing I do want to do for sure and again I'm not going to get the Peter Chow one I'm going to get the one that's in there I'm going to get the exact replacement um, it just makes it way easier I don't want to splice wires there's no reason to I don't care so, and it just makes it easier. You know, the hell I went with the other one. Eh, like, I learned a lot, but I didn't, it, was, it wasn't worth it. It just, I could have got an easy replacement. Like, yeah, it's fun to work on them, but why? I don't want to waste time if I don't have to. I just want to get, get them working and get... Ew, what is that? Ew, 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 what is that? Ew. That's some 19... That's, that's 94 dust. <laughs> oh, that's where the, uh, the ground is. Okay. So, let's just clean it up. Okay, so then there's a lot cleaner than before, so that's good. Always good. Coin counter. Coin counter. Um, does the coin counter work? I don't know, to be honest. I'm not sure. I guess we'll check that later. So that's good. All right, so right here, that's clean. Um, you know what? Why don't we get right to it, actually? Just clean these here. Why not turn it here easy? I'm not gonna. I may have to take about the coin. Oh, no, I won't. No, I won't. Or do I? I do want to eventually get to the. Actually, they're, they're pretty clean. Get to this and clean those, but they look alright. Maybe I'll just leave it until I do the full restore when I get it, because they look good and. When the lights are on, it looks okay. So maybe I'll leave it again. Just don't want to do as much work because it's going to be sitting in the garage, like I said before. Uh, the sticker fell off. Let's see. I love when the stickers are on, even though they're weird. This is eight 
slash 90, so maybe August 1990, B56, I don't know, I'll put it in the coin bucket, because there's something else in there which we'll get to hopefully momentarily, so that went well, that's good, we have the keys, we have backup keys, uh, next will be, I'm going to find the drill, so why don't we go find the drill and see if it works better, and then we'll uh, wait another few minutes and take off the uh, toothpaste and see if that worked any better.